I'm hoping, as an England fan, I'll be seeing England final. Later. Good morning. I've just woken up and I said I had to do this video. It's a very, very big game today. England is in the Euros final and I've been supporting them all the way. But behind me is a very, very important statue that represents the last time England won the World Cup, which was in 1966. That was 55 years ago. But today, they have an important chance of creating history and making the nation proud. There was a very famous captain back then called Bobby Moore, who used to play for West Ham United. And also, there was a person called Jeff Hurst, who scored a hat-trick against Germany, which ended up with England winning against Germany 4-2. This is a very, very important time, especially with the pandemic we've gone through. And I am sure if England managed to win today, we'll be making the nation proud. And this will give us something to celebrate. Come on, England. <laughs> How confident are you about the game? Pretty confident, man? pretty oh, confident. Yeah? So, me too. 1-0 England all what? day long. Okay. What do you think is going to score then? Who's going to score? Sterling Hattrick. Yeah? On goal! Sterling Hattrick. No. It's going to be Harry Maguire. 17 Harry Maguire. 17 nah, Harry Maguire, 63rd 17. minute. Yes, England is coming home. Yeah. Come on, 2-1. 2-1 England. Two one, it's coming home. coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. Is the day after the game and I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked that England actually lost. But regardless of that, I'm very proud of the effort by the boy. It's absolutely amazing that the whole nation, trust me, I was at Wembley Stadium and trust me, the whole nation came together. Oh my God of heaven. A whole nation was united for the sake of England winning. And unfortunately, it didn't go our way. That's football for you. When Luke Shaw scored the first goal, the whole place erupted. Inside and outside the stadium. <laughs> and it was an absolute mesmerizing feeling. Everyone thought today was the day. But then unfortunately, Italy's got very strong midfield and they were able to keep the ball and obviously you could tell fatigue started to kick in for a lot of the players and it got tired in the end. They gave everything but obviously Italy scored and my biggest fear was that it was going to go to penalties because I knew if it went to penalties, obviously it's down to skill but majority of it is down to luck and it was sad that the people that missed the penalty were Let's be real, there were three young black guys that missed the penalty and I knew the moment they missed the penalty, I knew the level of racism and abuse they would get was going to be over the moon. A lot of people might seem surprised, but I'm not surprised because if you want to know how people truly are, you need to create fire. And the fire was created by the players missing the penalties. So this fueled the fire. What people need to start doing is standing against it because this is not the first time that especially someone like Rashford, who's been absolutely amazing with the campaign of free school meals. And I see some people, even black young people, laughing at that and making a mockery about the free school meal that Rashford was campaigning for. And a lot of these black young people that are making a mockery about it, they were also on free school meals back in schools and they didn't know the importance of it. And someone like Rashford standing up for that, I thought was amazing and even that, it was getting a lot of criticism. There was a lot of racism filled with it. And obviously him missing the penalty as well, along with the other players, this created even an uprise. It's such a shame because the whole nation has been behind the team. And for this to happen, where he's ended in level of racism, is absolutely disgusting. But like I said, I'm not surprised because this has been going on for a very long time. It's just that people are now more open about their racism. I just hope we don't wait another 55 years for England to get to another final. But win or lose, always, always behind the team. Even though we lost, as soon as the game finished, there was absolute silence within everyone that went to support England. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, man. Ow! Oh, so much hope, man. Oh, this is, this is heartbreaking. This is absolutely heartbreaking. So he's not, he's not going to come home today. Wow. 
How do you feel about the game, man? Very bad, very bad, very bad, very bad. What do you think of bad trophy? What do you think of trophy? Next time, man, hopefully, next time, we still think we came to final. You think, another you think England will ever get to another final, man? Hopefully, man. What final is that? Um, next, in, short, in World Cup as well, they will go in final. Feeling so sad, brother. Yeah. It was such a sad feeling. Things like that happen in football. We've got to keep going. And hopefully, hopefully, we come back stronger. But it's your boy, Mr. C. I'm going to leave it right there. It's been an absolutely amazing tournament from minute one to the last minute. It's a sad day, but you have to keep fighting. The person that loses is the person that gives up. I'm going to leave it right there. It's your boy, Mr. C. Keep supporting the page. Keep supporting my channel. And keep following my journey.